Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and I will apologize to you uh, right from the start. I have no idea what happened. My um, In the middle of filming this, I, I, I know the camera was working correctly because I checked it at the beginning, and um, I'm, my phone didn't run out of power, and I didn't lose power to the plug, so I have no idea what happened, but everything was completely shut off when I finished the video and went to shut it off. So I'm going to try to explain to you, I'll start with the finished layout, and I'll try to explain to you um, what all I'm doing. First of all, this is a, um, a hop, a special um, hop celebrating the 500 subby mark for uh, Precious Pages Paper Craft, otherwise known as Rebecca Moore. And I'm lifting one of her designs. It's one of my favorite pages that she's ever done. And she's done quite a few that I love. She likes um, color and, and flowers. And, and in this case, it's kind of minimal with lots of white space around it. And I'm combining it with a recipe from Spoonful of Scraps and a Craft Plus challenge this month based on symmetry. The spoonful recipe is to use five stars or circles, and I've used, or at least five stars or circles, I've used six stars and then the seventh one there. Uh, stamps, and I've used stamps from this set, which is Art by Marlene. I got it from Redefine Creative, and I'm sure Christina could um, hook you up if you're interested. And my stars are from Some Assemblage Required, MK Guns, Etsy Shop. Um, the flare you see, well, the, the yellow star is from Bramble Fox. It's a perspective. And the flare, this little geotag and the heart are from Dottie About Flare, which, and there's the logo. And this is my bowl. I've just gotten the first shipment to the U.S. and the watch for them to become uh, more and more available. If you know Adam Westwood, and he's everywhere these days, um, he's got the company now, and uh, Natalie, who started the company, is on the design team, so they've switched roles, and um, he's broadening the market and, and shipping overseas. The collection I'm using is uh, Color Study by Vicki Booten, and I have... Uh, punched out uh, square scraps from the 6x8 pad. I think most of those patterns are from the 6x8 pad. And I fussy cut florals from here. Now, if you watched my challenge accepted video on Thursday, um, which is also the the uh, the twenty second today I'll have two um, two videos out today. But if you watched the other one, my challenge accepted video, I used the same collection and a lot of the same scraps and pieces and the same flowers. And that's because I'm using this collection exclusively to for the four or five pages that are going to document um, our celebrations of John's uh, birthday, our first birthday first of his birthdays um, without him. So um, I'll, I'll kind of just go through and describe what all I did. I, I also die cut uh, some sprigs from a die from um, um, Bramble Fox, who are the same people that made that cute little yellow star. And I, I just, I cut out these, uh, distressed the edges, popped the uh, smaller squares up on foam. Uh, I had square photos. I put them at angles, similar angles, uh, but going in the opposite direction so that my symmetry is kind of at a diagonal. I did a cluster of flowers in the lower right here, and over here I did it in the upper left. I added these sprigs kind of at the uh, juncture of the flowers and the photo. 
um, a cluster of three stars and three sequins, uh, kind of opposite diagonal from one another. I did my stamping similarly. They're, they're uh, symmetrical across the other diagonal instead of the main one there. And I overlapped, I used two different colors of ink, this brown, which is gathered twigs by, um, it, it's a distress oxide. And the black is Versafine. And these are my two stamps, which you can kind of see. Um, and I will add some journaling, uh, probably around, uh, the frame. It's going to be about, um, the fact that, uh, Mellow Mushroom, which is in this picture here, was his favorite, you know, pizza joint. And every Friday after my Weight Watchers weigh-in, we'd go there and split one of the small personal pan pizzas. And, and then, um... His very favorite restaurant of all time is Papacito's Cantina, and, and it's a Houston-based restaurant. The, the um, owners and the company are based in Houston, and he always said he'd never move away from Houston because he, he wouldn't have Papacito's. And Atlanta's one of the, uh, at Georgia and, and the location in Atlanta, uh, it's actually in Marietta, uh, one of the only other outside of Texas locations. I, I think it may be the only one. Um, and it's, it's the only one. If you've seen Papa Do's, uh, there we have, that's the Cajun, Cajun version of that, uh, restaurant. And they're, um, in multiple places in the Atlanta area and, and maybe in other states but not Papacito. So this is a kind of a destination. And James took a, a selfie uh, of us. There's me and Ava and Katie. Uh, Barrett came with us to, uh, to there. We, we, we had two different birthday party dinner, dinner parties for John because Barrett could only come to one. He couldn't come to the one that was on John's actual birthday. So anyway, enough about all of that. Um, I'm, I fussy cut the flowers, kind of put them in uh, where I thought they'd go. And this one, the, I had cut this uh, end, but I wanted to put it so that this leaf was kind of at an attractive angle to this leaf. Um, but it left a gap with the cut edge, so I just kind of covered it up with a, um, a, a flare, and I, I put a flare here. Those are not symmetrical other than they're um, straight in line with one another, so they're symmetrical if you fold the page that way. So I'm not sure it fits the exact definition of symmetrical, but it's good enough for government work. And I'm going to call it done. Uh, thank you for watching. I apologize that the uh, you didn't get to see the whole process. I had actually done a little bit more work beforehand on this one by uh, distressing the edges and putting the foam back behind the photos and these uh, smaller squares. But again, the collection is Vicki Booten Color Study. And I love, 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 love it. And... I don't know where I got that. It was kind of lying around in a box. Um, and it didn't have any of the adhesive. It's a sticker, but it didn't have any adhesive left on the other end because it, it had been kind of uh, jumbled around so much. So again, thanks for watching and my apologies for not having the entire process out there. And congratulations to Rebecca Moore uh, for her, and be sure to check out her work, uh, Precious Pages Papercraft on Instagram, and you can see, uh, a lot of her, her work in her Instagram, and she's on, uh, on, uh, YouTube as well, and I will have in my description a list of all the, either the pages or direct links to the process videos for everybody participating in this hop. So enjoy. Bye.